welcome back into my studio. As always, I'm the artist Theodora Agatha Leonti, painting words and art supplies. And today, I'm gonna show you how to paint sea cells. A lot of sea cells, so stay tuned. So as you can see, I have already uh, sketched all the cells I'm going to paint. And uh, yeah, there are so many types of cells and I didn't know that they had names, but yeah, apparently each one has its own name. That one I'm starting on is called base scallop. And it's, uh, it's pretty common, yeah. So I'm starting with um, some uh, light wash of yellow color. And now as my paper is still wet, I'm adding a few lines um, of orange color mixed with pink, just to make it seem a little more 3D. And as always, don't forget to have a paper towel next to you uh, to help you correct mistakes and uh, you know dry your uh, brushes pretty quick. And now I'm using the number two brush from the miniature set and I'm adding some, uh, some uh, yellow lines. And now mix in um, my colors for, for the next one. And I've switched to the number seven round brush from the black tulip uh, set. That's my favorite, as I, as I always say. And I've moved on to a cell that is called Coffee Bin Trivia. And it's pretty common, you can see those kind of cells on necklaces, uh, you can find them at the beach pretty easily. Uh, and I've added a thin wash of um, beige color and with a very small brush, number two from the miniature set, I've added a few dots, a few brown and uh, kind of caramel color dots. And I have returned, you know, go back and forth to the previous one uh, cell, you know, so I'm waiting for it to dry, you know, I'm dropping some more details and then I return to the other cell. And now I'm moving to the base of the base color uh, cell and about uh, a thin wash. And now, as I'm waiting for my other two cells to dry, I'm going to move on to the third cell that I believe is called Apple Murex. Correct me if I'm wrong. And it has like this uh, spiky things on, on top of it. And third color is a mix of um, orange and pink. And it's a bit darker uh, in the center of it. And again, as I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm going to mix my colors again and move on to another cell. I'm going to, you know, paint uh, a dark uh, purple at the center of the Kofu Bean Trivial cell. And I'm going to add a few dark highlights to the base scallop cell. Now moving on to at its bottom, but it also has um, lines. And with the same color, you know, I'm moving on to add another layer of the coffee bin. So here's a number two brush from the uh, miniature set. And I've moved on and switched to the number seven from the dark tulip. 
And now we're back to number two from miniature. <laughs> yeah. And now I've moved on to the fourth cell. I've been waiting for the others to dry. That I believe is called ladder corn snail. And it has like this um, spiral thing at the end. And it has like a hole that is uh, pinkish. And I'm mixing colors that are uh, brown and, um, and yellow. And I make sure to follow uh, the shape and uh, its lines and patterns to make it look uh, spiral. And now I've returned to the Apple Murex um, cell. That is also kind of spiral uh, at the bottom and it has like this, um, this patterns, these linear patterns that are mostly um, brown. And I make sure to follow the direction of the, of the lines because they're going to give it like the right shape. And I think that one uh, is the prettiest cell also. And I've moved back to the ladder and form snail for some finishing touches. Just adding, you know, another wash of color to make it pop fit. So now I'm going to move on to the starfish that, you know, if you collect them and find them uh, at the beach and uh, you let them dry, they are going to, you know, turn them into cells. And now I'm going to add, you know, another wash of um, caramel brown color to the Apple Nurex cell. And I'm going to keep adding, you know, lines and details until I am uh, completely pleased with it. And since I have this um, caramel brown color, I'm going to add a few more details to the latter horn, horn snail and finish them off. And now I'm going to move on to this uh, small cell that I couldn't find the name of. And now 
I am moving to the um, another cell that is similar to the Apple Murex cell, but uh, I couldn't find uh, what it's called either. But it's a really pretty cell with this uh, spiky thing is. So I might not know what of color to this small cell, but I wasn't really pleased with it. So I'm going to start over on that one. So again, I've uh, painted a few more coffee bin trivia. And I've had a wash of uh, grayish color. And again, I moved on to the starfish. That is mostly, you know, yellow and orange and has some dark brown parts. And again, I'm moving on to this small cell. And I'm adding dots of color. Let them dry. And then I'm adding another wash at the middle of the cup of interval, where is uh, the darkest. Do you enjoy collecting cells when you are at the beach? I used to love to do that when I was a kid, but the only cells I could find were coffee bin or, you know, really, really small cells. And um, I always tried to find a really big, uh, a really big cell, but I, I never, I was never able to find one. I was always so disappointed. So now I've moved on to this uh, spiral. Apple Murex cell. I think it's an also a Murex cell, I don't know, it looks similar. Uh, but I'm adding some layers of um, orange and yellow and uh, brown colors. Always following its, uh, its pattern. And now imagine some things and touches to the small cell. And then I decided to, you know, drop some white ink in, make things a bit more interesting. And some white highlights to uh, the other cells, just to make them pop a bit. and some dark highlights to the uh, starfish so. and some more highlights why not And with my, um, with my color pencil, I just added a few uh, highlights. And now I'm moving on to this cell that has a very interesting name. It's called Boring Tur Turret Snail. I don't know why a cell would be boring, but it doesn't seem boring to me. It was kind of fun to paint, actually. I've mixed some colors um, that are gray, blue, purple, uh, it has some uh, brown. And as I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm adding a few more details using the pencil. I really love using, you know, mix techniques. Um, because I think the result is more interesting and um, you know you're, it's more easy to reach the result you want using um, a mix technique. That's what I think at least. And I'm adding some last highlights, the starfish. 
And I think now it looks more 3D than before. And now we're back to the boring snail. That isn't really boring. And I'm dropping uh, some uh, brown colors at its spiral end. As you can see at the top, I have um, outlined the world sea cell. I haven't really tried calligraphy before, that's why I needed to outline it first. Uh, but I'm using the number 10 round full squirrel brush from Zen Art from the uh, black tulip set, and it's pretty good for calligraphy because you know it allows you to paint uh, with its tip and then you can do wider lines and I'm going to show you how to paint another cell I really want to paint this cell because uh, we used to have one of those cells lying around at home and it reminds me a lot of my childhood unfortunately I couldn't find uh, what it's called but that's all right um, so I'm starting with a mixture of um, orange and uh, purple and then I'm you know letting dry and do its thing and I've made this um, round shape and out of the bottom it has like this um, patterns that remind me of uh, leopard print but I'm starting first with a light best wash and then I'm adding another layer of uh, purple and I'm letting it dry and now I'm using the brush that is called Cat's Tongue from Zenat Supplies. It's a really nice brush, you can do so many things with it. And I'm just using it, the tip of it to make this small uh, dotty things. And then I'm letting it dry a bit. And now that it's uh, dry, I'm moving on with the cat stank and I'm adding a few more uh, spots and marks. And at the next video, I'm going to show you a whole lot more that you can do with uh, this particular brush. Thank you for watching again. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you paint the cells and tag us so I can see all the wonderful work you've done. And uh, don't forget to stay tuned for the next video where I'll be using the cat stang uh, brush and I'm gonna show you all the wonderful things that you can do using just this brush. So don't miss it out. And as always, don't forget to show us the love and share, like, and subscribe. Thank you very much.